All right. On the YouTube page of the National, uh, actually, the Ninja Sport Network. And I believe Melissa Anderson getting ready to go here, looks like. Almost. Stand down, just a false alarm there. A few more things need to be checked and double checked before we get up and going. We've got some movement. Stephanie Hopkins, appreciate you hanging out all day long. Watching the live streams. Much appreciate. Hey, my mom's in the chat. Hello, mom. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in up there. I know you're out exploring up in the north. Safe travels back home. All right, we got the thumbs up from Brandy. It looks like we're going to get started here. All right, all right, all right. That's what I like to hear. Swanson hanging out in the chat as well. Good to have you. Pop Fanatic, hello. Ready for some fun runs. We're going to have 73 athletes running through this course. I think we're going nonstop as best we can. Might have to take a few breaks here and there to swap out batteries and whatnot. But we're going to bring you the action all evening long. Jamie Ross says, Ethan, do a good job or else. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh. Melissa Anderson getting ready to run here. I think we lost it. Are we good on your end? Yeah. Okay. Are we live? And here we go, Melissa Anderson, right away onto that TikTok. See where she has to go from here. There we go. Grab it onto that lower portion and then climbing all the way up. Man, it's got the sun in her eyes for sure. Big leap. Great job. And transferring down onto the box. Gets the landing. And we're going to be moving on. To X going to give it to you. It's going to jump, grab. And grab onto these jumping and dropping X's. Okay, that's going to be her first fall. She can move on. Only has one more fall that she can make. So we've got a salmon ladder going up. Has to put it into the very top rung that is marked with white tape. Once that is in place, then she can move on. But both sides must be must be in and locked in and these rungs go out more if you notice they kind of long longer salmon ladder rungs like they got sleeves on there so it goes out further oh couldn't quite get the gymnast kip to go out and around nice try melissa anderson up next we have megan Rowe, the axe throwing ninja she's going to be stepping up to the plate soon Coming out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Warrior Jungle, one of her training locations. Qualified for Las Vegas season 13 this year. And was the first place female in her semifinals episode. And here we go. Megan on the course right now. Big leap. Hold on tight. Just qualifying onto these TikTok obstacles. Let's see if she's got the qualifications to get through this. 
quick climb up onto the TikTok. Big leap. Oh, my gosh, by the fingertips. And gets the dismount. You can hear the crowd. Just cheering with anticipation. And let's see the X drop. Starts to get the Lachey's built up. Nice work there. Drop can be jarring. Goes for the next move. Oh, the reverse grab, much like the end of stage two. Not quite able to hold on. That is a tricky move to go from one hand facing position to the reverse grip and then holding on for uh, the drop. On to the salmon ladder with the extending rungs. Okay, first one, and she's just not feeling it there. Doesn't, doesn't want to risk it. Don't blame her. Got to think about your safety first. Nice try, Megan. Got through that first one. and Almost through X, the X drop. But moving on now. Next a competitor. Bryson Clark coming up next. Rave, uh, wave to the camera. She's ready to go. Getting a quick check from the judge there, Mr. Intensity himself, John Mall. Give, give her the countdown. Three, two, one, and go. Big bounce. Hold on tight. Oh, looks, looks like she tapped. Can't have incidental on the mat. Part of that obstacle is engaging those core muscles, making sure you've got the ab strength to keep that body lifted up. Big Lachey to the first dropping X. X marks the spot. Here comes the next one. It's that reverse grab. Hips high, not quite able to hold on. And that's going to do it. Two and done. Nice try. It's going to be a tough, tough start to stage two. Next, let's see who we have. Number four on the list is going to be uh, Olivia Colasuano. She's going to be stepping up to the plate, rocking the bucket of chalk t shirt. And here Olivia goes, jumps up, holds on, stays balls up, balled up there. Staying balled up nice and tight, climbing up to the top of that TikTok. Rocking back and forth here. You gotta hold on tight. And figure out how to time the jump now. Looking for the transition, building up the momentum here. Oh, just mistimed the leap. Gotta jump on the way up. Into the X drop. And hold. Back. There's that reverse grip. Goes for it. Not quite able to get the height required. Nice try, Olivia. Up next, we've got Bella Palmer. Talk. Trying to latch on to the base. Starts working her way up. Grabbing the side pegs to assist with the climb. Excellent job getting into the standing position. And timing out the leap. Gets the grab. Plenty of plenty of clearance. It's gotta be hard. This time of day with that light right in your eyes. Jumping into the next drop. Second one, can we get the swing up to the reverse grip? Goes for it, oh, oh. just gets her fingertips on there, but that's her first fall, so she has one more.
looks like she. Jorgensen on the course right now, getting ready to go. She goes on the trampoline. Hold on Ooh. tight, skimming the padding. Got to stay tucked in. Let's see how she fares on the X marks the spot. I have a lot of height here. Oh, just barely. Two and just done. Barely. Heidi, tough break. Still a big smile. That's what we like to see. Coming up next, we've got Ali O'Toole. here in just a second once we get everything all reset. Allie, one of the twinges, she's got her twin sister. Next up, looks like we got Katie Bone. Katie Bone on the platform right now, getting ready to go. Trampoline bounce. Hold on tight. Good grab on the tip. Gotta crawl your way up. Not a very comfortable obstacle, but she makes short work of the transition to the standing position here. Has to get the swing just right. Time that leap onto the bunker. Oof. Just a little mistimed on the jump. Spot. Going for the X drop here. Gets nice. gold. That rock climber grip coming in handy. Still has to get the bar into the dismount portion. For a clear, great job, Katie. Into the salmon ladder we go. out to the salmon ladder. These rungs extend further and further. The higher you go, and that first one's going to do it for her. Nice try, Katie. And coming up number 10 is going to be Lila Nathanson. off grabbing on to the base of that pillar trying to maneuver her way into the seated position this is a very awkward 
struggle type of an obstacle where you have to maneuver yourself around in a very specific manner to prevent yourself from tapping that pad below you. Achieves that seated position. Now we just got to be able to stand up and leap for that bar and get to that dismount portion. Trying to time that. Oh my gosh, she's getting the swing, but got to capitalize on the timing of her momentum. Here's the leap. Holding on. Very nice. Good work. And gets the dismount. All right. Takes a quick drink. Milo's looking for the X marks to spot. Forward facing grips to begin with. Trying to build up that swing to get high enough so the drop isn't going to be too forceful. Can't get both hands on at the same time. Just going to move on for the salmon lighter. A little bit more chalk. And it's a little bit of a jump. Wants to make sure she can reach the bar. Goes for the switch grip grab. Now you have to come out so far on the salmon ladder. You can see how the rungs are extended. And they get further and further as you go up. Can't get the first one. Each rung is going to be a little further out each time. It makes it very challenging to be able to go out and around those rungs instead of just up and over. All right, coming up next, we've got Elizabeth Moxley at the start line. That first obstacle looks like it could be very disoriented right off the bat. That, you are correct. People in the chat, thank you for chiming in. Yeah, the swinging motion isn't very fun for a course such as Stage 2 when you have to put together a lot of big throws back to back so the first obstacle right off the bat is going to be setting the setting the pace almost for the remainder of your run so if you feel as a competitor having a hard time on the first obstacle might get in their heads just a little bit i know it happened to me season nine of american ninja warrior got from the uh, it was a rope no it was just a ring the ring swing giant ring swing messed me up big time I got hung up on the start platform, couldn't reset. They didn't let you have any resets. And I got hung up and I was swinging around like a fish on a hook. And that was all she wrote. Just getting some clarification here. Salmon ladder looks basically impossible. Uh, at first glance, it is, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Just gotta know the right technique. There is a technique to it. You'll see some competitors using more of a momentum-based gymnastic type kip. Others will be very very forceful with it, using more more of a muscle-up uh, technique, fighting through it. Everybody's got their own personal flavor when it comes to the salmon ladder. We've seen some pretty awesome skills increase over the years, but it looks like Elizabeth Moxley taking on the course right now. Big leap up. Ah, not quite able to hang on. I'm going to go ahead and see how she does on X marks the spot. Grabs the first. Big drop coming up. He's getting nice and high. Oh, not quite able to get enough lift on the throw, but that's going to do it for Elizabeth Moxley. Nice try. We've got a young one stepping up to the plate right now. Liesel Hetzel getting ready to run. Like we said, ladies and gentlemen, at the very start of the day, they knew what they were getting into, a professionally designed course that is not age specific. They let anybody just step up to the plate. And we've got some young ones in the stage two here. Big leap, got her oh. hands on there, but man, couldn't quite get the height needed. It's impressive to see what these young ones can do. Liesl going for the big drop coming up for the front-handed grips. 
no problem there. Can she generate the momentum required to get that reverse grip? Got to get those hips nice and high. Looking for it right here. Big reach. Oh, got one hand. Couldn't quite get the other. That's going to do it for Elisal. Yeah, some big moves right off the bat here in stage two. Definitely challenging. It's going to be taxing these athletes. If anything, it's going to add more fuel to the fire for these uh, competitors. If they come up just short of their end goal of getting further into the stages, then it just usually motivates people to train even harder down the line. So it's good to face challenges from time to time. Right now, we're going to have Annabella Henricks on the course, getting ready to go. Taking off on the trampoline bounce, holding on tight. Nice. Oh, got to get those legs into that seated position. She's got a few handholds there she can use for assistance. Annabella getting into the standing position here. Now we have to work on the rotation. Line up that jump. Time your release just right. Going for the leap. Job. Shimmy's over a little bit. Get a little closer to the dismount. Here we go. X marks the spot. Going to the second one, no problem. Here comes the tricky part that's been hanging up a lot of people so far. It's that big reverse grab. Has to get those hands around, not able to do so. That's going to do it for Annabella. that one in particular. Now we've got uh, at least, she's got one more chance. She can't have any more mistakes. Taking a break here, resting before attempting the extending ladder here. Yeah, took a nice rest here. Going for the first move. Haven't seen any women get through this obstacle. Next rung's even further out, nice job. Next one's even farther. Big reach that one side, right side, just too far out. Couldn't quite get there. It's such a big move. It's a, definitely a challenging course. Nice try, Annabella. All right, up, up now is going to be Phil Folsom. Phil Folsom just barely squeaking into stage two based on his stage one run. And here we go. Let's see what the techniques are going to be. Quick move into that seated spot. Trying to time out the swings here. Big leap. He's got his, his brother right there ready to pass off the chalk. Right, links in to the first one. Comes a big reverse grip. Nice, sticks to grab. Going to the bar and links to Lache for the dismount. Here we go on the salmon ladder. Go switch grip. First move, no problem. Second one right away, trying to time out those swings to be as efficient as possible. All the way up to the top. That's the end point and clear point for the Salmon Lighter. Now we're <laughs> into the Tilt-A-Whirl ring toss here. You can see the straps holding it into one position. It'll twist, but too much off-angle swing. Might make it a lot more difficult, but he's able to transfer off right away. Gets the lache to the dismount. Be 
here on the twist and turn. Ring toss. First competitor to make it to the air surfer. He's got two ropes to assist with the climb up into the air surfer. This thing has got some play to it. You got to be careful. Big ups. Hopping it a little bit at a time. You can't get too close to the edge. You might slip right off when you try to have that board momentum. Moves it oh! too far. Oh, I think I jinxed him, said exactly that, and he overshot. But that was his first. First fall, he gets one more. Now he's on to the bucket. He's got to chuck it for the bucket. Grab it on to these bucket of chalk holds. Top portions, they have a little. Yeah. Nice job, Phil. All right, great job, Phil. Up oh, next is going to be Miles Odom. Taking a second here to check the live stream. We're just getting some reassurance that the path is going to be clear. Mr. Taganji, you see there, the man behind the scenes. Sure, the path is safe for the cameraman. Everybody wants to see it clear. So, of course, there's going to be a mad dash to watch somebody run through that final fun obstacle. I don't blame them. But we want to give you, uh, uh, we want to give everybody at home a bird's eye view of the action as it's happening. And that does not include a stampede <laughs> of other athletes. So we're going to try to make sure the path is clear as best as possible. And outside, and there's an inflatable slide, and you have to run through the base of the water pit, run up one side and then slide down the other. It's kind of a, a uh, victory lap as it were, but that giant inflatable you see out there, you just have to suffer through the cold, cold water. It's about 400 pounds of ice. Run up one side of the slide, slippery as you go up and then slide back down into the water pit. And then you're out and hitting the buzzer. So the main challenge is getting through that final bucket obstacle before taking your victory lap outside within that time limit of course you got to be able to make it within that time limit that's going to be the challenging portion and if our camera goes outside we kind of lose signal so sorry we froze there at the end if they go too far they can't see all the action but hopefully we won't have any more hiccups on the signal here as we go through but phil cleared with only one mistake just had one slip up coming off of the air surfer. Great run by Phil. Up right now. Getting ready to run is going to be Miles Odom. Getting ready to go and taking off now on to... Oh, just couldn't hold on. Grabbed one side more than the other. Caused it to spin just a little bit. And couldn't hold on tight enough. Hitting that first X drop. Looking for the reverse grab. Big swing up. Holding on tight. Nice job, Miles. And the Lachey to dismount. Clear. Into the extending salmon ladder. 
swimming upstream. Barefoot Warrior looking for the move, not quite able to get it. That's okay. Nice try, Miles. Difficulty spike has definitely taken place here. Hopefully he's all right coming off the course. A nice try. Up next, we've got Brady Parks. Trains down there with R.J. Roman out of the Obstacle Ninja Academy in Orlando, Florida. We will be heading down there in November for the pro competition that he'll be holding later that month, about mid-November, mid late November, I believe, followed by a uh, series of clinics held by some all-stars. Going big jump here. Ooh, good save. That magnet really held it into place. But he was able to hold on for the drop. Brady working his way up into the standing position. Let's see if he can figure out the timing. That thing is swinging back and forth, man. Come on. Dial it in, Brady. Big leap. Could almost just reach right out to it. Gets a little more chalk there from RJ. Off onto the... X marks the spot holds, the maxing holds into the giant X. Nice job with the reverse grip. Gets the bar and quick cliche off for the dismount. Very efficient, saving that grip as much as he can. If you can dismount off of an obstacle and do it efficiently, save that grip just that much more. Here he goes on the extendable ladder. Up these rungs, out and around. One more big one. And he's got the ending platform at the top. Both sides must be in place, which he does. Clears on the salmon ladder. Brady's looking strong so far. Dropping down into the tilt-a-whirl, spin-around, skyhook mechanism. Just has to twist at that forward position, and then we've got it locked into place there. He's got to have that swing across. Very good. Steadying himself for the dismount. Yet another clear. All right. Making sure he's got enough energy in the tank for the ascent. Leaping up to the ropes. And lining up for this air surfer. Hopping it a little closer to the edge just to be safe. Up the first rack. And here comes the next. No. One side, great adjustment. Now he's got to grab a UFO. For ice, this young man, fire, and that's going to be a clear with just one slip up on the bucket toss. Nice job, Brady Parks.
间。He does. Sticks the transfer. Moving on for the. One more chance here. All into the salmon ladder. Big leap going with the switch grip. Can he get out and around these rungs that extend further and further as he climbs? Could take the cautious approach and work one side up at a time. Much like a walking bar and ops not to. Just going to go ahead and call it on that. Fist bumps all around. Nice try, Job. Joshua Hour. Bath Robe Ninja coming out of Rock Solid. Rock Solid Warrior there in North Carolina. And looks like we're about ready to go. 3-2-1 gets the call in to start the course. Staying nice and tight here. Balling up. Got to stay as high as possible here for the transition. Climbing up into the seated position. Utilizing those handholds on the side of the pillar. And starts working his way up. Going for the jump. Ooh, good transition. Didn't take long there to make that move. And now into X marks the spot. Goes ahead and just reaches right out. Lachey's right away into it. Looking for the big reverse move here. Nice job. Can Josh be the man of the hour, Mr. Hour? Looking for the salmon ladder moves. He sees... What he has to do here. Muscles up the first one. Using those hips to try to generate a little swing to come backwards each time. Big pulls here. And makes short work of the salmon ladder. Into this variation on sky hooks. Got to twist it all the way around to untangle it. Once it's locked into place there, he's got to make the ring transfer out and around and then just static hold into that next one for the dismount it's going to go ahead and chalk up a little bit more before this rope ascent into into the air surfer so we saw his explosiveness on the salmon lighter let's see if he can translate that same kind of motion into the upward air surfer moves up and over for the first one. Nicely done. Does he opt to go a little closer? He does. Got to be careful there on the edges, though. We've already seen what happened earlier. Too far forward, but he sticks it right in the middle. Now the UFO grab. Hold and twist. Turn. Looking for the dismount. There it is. Nice job, Josh. Joshua heading over to the buckets. Time ticking down. 315. Releaps and just overshoots. He's got to run outside. He's got to still go through that water. That was his first fall. So he's got two falls total. He's just going to sprint right up one side. Up and back down. Through the cold water. And hit that buzzer. And that's going to do it. And he is exhausted. Oof. Good job. Bathrobe Ninja, get that man a bathrobe. <laughs> Because he needs it. 
to dry off. Nice job, Joshua. All right, coming up next we have, <clears throat> we've got Michael Matthews getting ready to go. Michael Matthews trains out of the Movement Lab, one of the various locations. Let's see how he does on his huge trampoline jump up to the TikTok. Hey, ah, okay. <laughs> hey, I can't quite get there. Big jump. That's going to be the challenge for the younger competitors. The younger and lighter competitors, trampolines can be challenging, but here he is now. X marks the spot, gets the reach, reach to the back of those handholds. Not an easy move, gets the lache bar, and down he goes to get a clear on X, the X drop. Big leap. Nice save. Can he get out and around each one of these rungs? Not quite able to. Nice try. Mr. Matthews. Coming up on competitor number 21, Megan O'Toole. One of the twinges. You can see the younger competitors all just congratulating each other for taking on a pro course out here. It's awesome to see them face these challenges and with a smile on their face. That's what it's all about. Megan getting ready to go. Home gym is here, Ninja Intensity. She's got her twin sister in tow there with a bucket of chalk. Big bounce. Not able to hold on. Was able to unhinge it, but not quite high enough to make that jump. Here we go on the Lachaise. First X, no problem. The maxing holds brought to you by Stronghold. Trying to get that swing built up for the reverse grip. Not able to grab to the reverse grip, sadly. That's going to do it for Megan. Nice try. Still laughing it off. Great attitude to have. <laughs> they know it was not easy when they saw everything being set up. But up next, we've got Mr. Jake Murray. Should be at the platform getting ready to go. Jake, ready to rock and roll here. Got to the very end of stage two in this current season of American Ninja Warrior. And that X drop was the thing that got him right there at the very end of stage two. So I'm sure he'll be able to get through this one. Because he's a man on a mission. Still training very hard, all over the place. Very dedicated to the game. Here he goes. Up onto the pillar. Grab it on, holding tight. Engaging every last muscle available in order to make this transition. And you got to try to climb up in tune with the swing. Or else it's just fighting. You're fighting against it. Big leap. Woo! Gets a crazy sideways grab. And he is in control. 
on now to the drops. Takes a quick breath. Shays right away into it. Reverse grip. No, just shy on the reverse grab. Tough break, Jake. Up into the salmon lighter. And try to rush the move. Try to get that, use that momentum right away off the start. And not going to be the run he was looking for, but that's all right. Nice try, Jake. Coming up next is going to be Tiago Lima. Coming out of Ninja Street in Miami. No questions from this young man. He's ready to go. And big bounce up. Leaps can't quite stay up high enough to prevent his feet from dragging. But moving on now to the dropping holds, swinging back and forth. Nice job on the transfer for the first one. Looking for that reverse grip. Makes the move. But can he get the dismount? And nicely done. Sam a lot of times can we make it or break it. Getting a little more coaching there from Kaye. Controls that momentum, but not not quite enough pull uh, pull power there in order to get it up around those rungs. Nice try, Tiago. Gaten Forsha heading up now to the platform. Getting some extra cleaning of those shoes. Making sure he's got everything ready to go. He's got his dad right there helping him out with the chalk and giving him some last minute advice. Let's see if he can make this big jump off the trampoline. He's fired up, ready to rock and roll. Caden Forsha on the course. Big leap, but taps out on the bottom. Can't quite hold on. Held on, but got to keep those legs up. Nice move on the first X. Starts building up that momentum for the next transfer. Oh, just couldn't quite hold on for the reverse grip. It's a brutal start to stage two. Nice try, Caden. Coming up next is going to be Evan White. Evan taking that one last breath before getting ready to go. And up into... Into the TikTok. Hold on tight. Ooh, couldn't quite get his legs around the first time. Starting to figure it out here. Gets into the seated spot. Starts trying to figure out the time in here. Looking for the jump. Oh, gets one hand on. But not able to hang on for the dismount. Into the X, drops right away. Trying to save as much grip strength as possible. Only two swings is needed before he bottoms out on that X right there. Nice lache clearing on X marks the spot. Takes a deep breath. And let's see if he's got the power. And the timing for these out and around moves on the salmon lighter. Not quite able to. He's looking at one side. And 
the side he wasn't looking at was the one he kind of misjudged. It's hard to do. It's hard to keep both sides even uh, the entire way through, but nice, nice try. Evan. Keen O'Boyle getting ready to run. Keen at the platform, ready to go. Getting counted down by Isabella, and here he goes on to the transfers, trying to pull his way up, not quite able to ball up as much as he needed to. A lot taller, so it's going to even make it even harder, but makes a first transfer. Mechanism right there it is a challenging one. It's really the the gatekeeper into
making sure things are good to go. I'm going to take a quick little and as they figure things out here with the uh, X marks the spot.
Looks like we're getting back to the action here. Cam Baumgartner giving it a, a little test run here. All right, looks like our next competitor is up and ready to go here. I think we got the the obstacle figured out. Like Keno Boyle is getting ready to go, getting counted down. Right, uh, Ryan Richardson, as you were. Ryan Richardson on the course right now. Got to keep those legs up. He scraped on the way through. Got to keep those legs high and stay involved into the mixes here. The reverse grip, not able to make the transfer. And that's going to do it for Ryan. All right, we've got an athlete coming out of Conquer, Conquer Ninja Gym. It's going to be Grayson Payne. Getting lined up and ready. 
for the big jump here. Big leap. Ah, just shy of the grab into the dropping X's. They can do here. Big throw. Gets the X. Marks the spot. And gets the dismount. Nice work. Coming through. Grayson moving on now into the salmon ladder. Big leap out. Switch grip tech. Can he make the first move? And not able to get the first run. That's all right. Still impressive. And he got that dropping X. Nice job. Mr. Payne. On now to our next competitor, Jaden Welch. Getting ready to go. Hat on backwards means it's time for business. Steadies his swing. Looking for the out and around moves. Good job making it this far. Oh, one side up. Not able to get the other. Nice try, Jaden. All right, our number 30 competitor. 30 out of 73. Going to be van. Vance Walker, originally from Texas, living out of Atlanta, Georgia, at home. Trains out of Ninja Quest Fitness. And multiple other locations. Has a pretty nice setup in the backyard. Usually throws pool parties in the backyard for various out-of-town ninjas and other ninjas that coming by, hanging out with the wing nuts over the pool. Nice way to end the summer. But let's see how he does here. On stage two. Got through stage two this season on American Ninja Warrior. So he's familiar with a lot of the upper body obstacles here. He's got to stay nice and compact. Vance is a little shorter. So staying tight and compact here shouldn't be an issue. And now he's got to be able to pull his way up into that seated position. A little challenging in the flexibility department. But he's working his way through, making it work. Climbing his way up. Getting into that standard position. And looking for the turn. Trying to eye the transfer for the bar. Taking a lot of swings here just to be safe. Nice 180 turnaround and gets the dismount. 315 is what they're working with time-wise. Into the X. Starts to get the throw for number two. Let's see if he can get the reverse grab here. Of X marks the spot. Climbing up now. I've seen this young man do a huge salmon ladder. He's done Mike Cook salmon ladder at the UBW course. So it should not be an issue for him. He skipped rungs up and out, up and out again. Nice work. He's got great explosiveness and gets the clear on the salmon ladder into oh, this twist and turn sky hook here. He's got to get it around, twist it just right, lock it into position, and get that transfer. Two hands on the ring and swings to safety. It's going to chalk up real quick. It's 
And right away, not taking much of a break here. Into the air surfer. say right on the tops of these buckets it's the third one he's got that tiny red section there but he's got to change his angle slightly to get the dismount Ooh, right on the corner good job Vance running on outside into the water slide out And he gets through the course. It's hard to see from that angle, but he was able to go through the water slide up and down. Just had to beat the time in order to get the clear. All right, up next. Zach Eichenstein. Zach's getting ready to go. goes now. Zach is on the course right now. Zach Eichenstein makes it through the TikTok into the reverse grip. Oh, one-handed save. Matches into the dropping X. Nice work. Excellent save there. Into the extending salmon ladder rungs. Out and around each of these those giant rungs to the top and just has to get to the top. Both sides had to be up. That's a clear on the salmon ladder right at the one minute mark. Here he goes into a little bit of a finicky Ooh, twist and twist and fly sky hook. Gets it on his first move for the turnaround. Now can he get the transfer across? Yes, he does. Grabs onto the second ring of the dismount. Still needs to get a little bit of momentum to... Ooh, he's kind of hung up here. He's got to generate some swing. He let go of that back ring too soon. That's going to set his swing a little off angle in order to make the dismount. Straighten out, but steps backwards. That's going to count against him. You have to ensure that, tra that transfer off of the obstacle is just as clean as the obstacle itself. It's all right, Zach. He's going to keep on going. Strong work so far. And up we go onto the 
Air Surfer. Oh, right on the edge of the second second row platforms. Nice try, Zach. We're going to be moving on to Michael Bellion. is good to go here before everybody starts up. We're just eyeing the X again. Seems to be a little bit of a trouble area. Just going to ensure that it's going to work just right. Let's see how long it's going to take to ensure this is going to be okay. So appreciate y'all's patience. Thanks for, thanks for waiting and working with us. Well, folks, it looks like stage two. We've got a couple of repairs. The uh, X is being worked on here. Guys, we're going to go ahead and take battery change and possibly an obstacle repair. We're going to have to take a quick breather. So let's see. We'll be back with some more action here. We are on our uh, 32nd runner out of 73. So still about 40 runners to go. Thought we can get through all this in one go, but we're going to go ahead and take a wave break. And uh, we'll be right back. So go grab you some snacks. Grab you some Something to uh, hang out with us while we try to work through these issues. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Folks, while we wait, might as well be a good time to go ahead and talk about the various sponsors that we've had uh, provide so much of the support required in order to make these events happen. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start off at the top. We've got Humble. Humble Midstream is a unique forward-thinking company formed in 2020 and based in Denver. A leader in energy transition, Humble is focused on solutions that help customers transition to a low-carbon future through carbon capture and the production of of the future, including blue and green hydrogen and renewable natural gas. Humble also helps optimize existing midstream facilities to become clean assets of the future or meet midstream needs with new assets that look ahead. Ninja Master is what you've been following along on the website and you have been following on the, le the leaderboards. Uh, the Ninja Master is a proud sponsor of the Bucket of Chalk competition. Ninja Master's registration and scoring system takes the obstacles out of running a competition. Whether you are running a spontaneous course with a few ninjas or a multi-stage competition like this one, or an entire league of ninja, uh, Ninja Master has everything you need. So definitely go check them out for all your scoring uh, requirements. Also, you saw the competitor earlier today, Bart Copeland. He runs Copeland Precast. That's going to be one of our sponsors as well top quality precast products no one beats copeland's precast products there is concrete mix in field uh, tested to 5000 psi and we use envirocore a sustainable environmentally friendly uh, cement next up we have a whip uh whipfully with more than 84,000 clients and 2900 associates whipfully ranks among the top 20 accounting and business consulting firms in the nation 
in 2030, Whipley will turn 100, and in many ways, we feel that we're just getting started. Castle Rock Autoplex. Castle Rock Autoplex in Castle Rock, Colorado, treats the needs of each individual customer with paramount concern. We know that you have high expectations, and as a car dealer, we enjoy the challenge of meeting and exceeding those standards each and every time. Allow us to demonstrate our commitment to excellence. Our experienced sales staff is eager to share its knowledge and enthusiasm with you. Let's see here. Got some more coming here. Zimmer Biomet. At Zimmer Biomet, we pursue exceptional outcomes. Our innovations help treat patients suffering from disorders of or injuries to bones, joints, or supporting soft tissues. Alongside some of the world's top healthcare professionals, we help deliver new possibilities to patients. Don't know about you, Deganji, but I probably need to go hit them up for all my soft tissue needs in my shoulder joints. My goodness. Zimmer. Got a lot of soft tissue needs. <laughs> at Zimmer Biomet. I'm gonna look you. I'm gonna look y'all up. Sadly, y'all are in Colorado. I don't know if y'all got a branch out here in uh, Greenville, South Carolina, where I'm currently based. But I might be looking you all up. All right, moving on here. Next up, we've got MB Roofing. MB Roofing Incorporated was established in 2000, but in the roofing profession since 1973. We bring quality and integrity to the job site with every roofing job we complete. Thank you, MB Roofing. All right. I don't know about you, uh, Deganji, but if you grab some breakfast this morning, I know I did from ba -da -ba -ba -ba. the lovely McDonald's here in Castle Rock provided a lot of breakfast items, orange juices, uh, lots of different sandwiches, breakfast needs for us out here. If you need some good food fast, McDonald's helped us out, hooked us up. I'm loving it. Our Way Pools is another sponsor. Quality pools and spas delivered our way. Fun in the sun delivered your way. Our way pools and spas bringing years of enjoyment your way. Everybody in the live stream, let me know if you can hear us at least. We've got some audio coming through. We're still working on getting the obstacles repaired. Appreciate y'all's feedback. All right. Bar S Services takes pride in being a full-service company of all your commercial, industrial, oil, and gas needs to your everyday construction projects. We have adopted the phrase, safely serving our customers, because we truly believe that safety, consistency, and quality control are the key components to providing exceptional service. Bar S is there from the beginning to the end, specializing in the most in most every phase of your projects. Yet another sponsor we've got, Castle Rock Family Physician. Castle Rock Family Physicians is a family-owned private practice dedicated to your lifelong outstanding health care. We emphasize education about your health to help in developing and achieving your optim optimum health. Castle Rock Family Physicians is a state-of-the-art medical office that serves patients of all ages from newborns to seniors and services Castle Rock and the Douglas County area. Biagi Bros are a uh, Biagi Bros Logistics is about solving people's problems as a full-service logistics company. Biagi Bros provides businesses and organizations with 3PL and supply chain solutions. Because our distribution centers, warehouses, and truck terminals are strategically located throughout the U.S., we can resolve logistic challenges in creative ways. We are where you need us to be with the 3PL services you need us to have. Many thanks to the Biagi Bros. Castle Rock Microwave is a regional wireless system integrator who designs, builds, and operates broadband wireless systems that connect people and things in areas that lack internet access. Hair and Company is another sponsor, as you see there. Since 1974, Hair and Company 
has been one of Colorado's premier real estate firms serving the front range. Our decades of experience and unparalleled local knowledge allow us to deliver personalized services to our clients. Got to hunt me down a house eventually out in my neck of the woods. If you're looking for a place out here, definitely look them up. Find you some nice real estate. That's going to do it for now. We've got a couple more. We might come back. But we got this air surfer hanging out right there. Got the air surfer here. They're still working on the uh, obstacle right now. Just taking an overview of the gym here. Take a gander. A lot of moving pieces. Like I said, tough to tough to innovate and have these caliber of athletes put them through the tests on the course. We're hopefully going to get back going here sooner than later. Thanks for your patience, everybody. We're going to still keep us going here live on the stream and hopefully get things going back shortly. They're hard at work. I will step away from the microphone briefly. I shall return.
sorry for the uh, delay in the action, guys. The runner number, I believe, is runner number... Let me get a quick check here. I believe we were on 31. So up next would be Michael Bellion. Yeah, we had an obstacle malfunction, so they are currently uh, looking at repairing the obstacle. Sorry for the delay. All right, folks, it looks like uh, it's going to be about a 20 to 30 minute delay. So I think we're going to cut the stream here and uh, we'll be back in about 20 to 30 minutes. But 